Unicorns, welcome back to my episode 4 and also the last episode of Kur. If you are someone new to my channel, let me introduce myself. Hi, I am Harita and I am a travel content creator. So if you missed the first 3 videos of this Kur travel series, do not worry. I will mention the links in the description and also I drop it in the icards above. So this video is the episode 4 where I am visiting the Mandalpati peak and also the Abbey Falls. So let's get into the video. morning guys from Kurg. It's almost 5.30 am in the morning. The clouds, the moon looks so cute. So I am on my way to Mandalpati peak. I am here to witness the sunrise but I was actually late. So on the way I just got a glimpse of the sun rising. Apparently there is an entry fee of Rs 50 and plastic is strictly prohibited there. To reach the peak you have to hire a jeep which ranges from 1000 to 1200 per jeep and you can share the cost among the people travelling inside. I would rate this off-roading experience somewhere between easy to moderate and on our way a jeep was punctured so we had to wait for the traffic to clear and after some time the traffic did clear but by this time the sun was out and about so we just had to go and reach the peak to witness the views. This is the parking space where the jeep will drop you off. From here you have to hike for a bit say like 5 to 7 minutes to reach the Mandalpati peak top. Make sure to wear your shoes because the path is all stony, rocky and muddy. So I've reached almost halfway and that part is the topest part where we are going to witness the views or the mist. So let's go. You can even go below there to get some pictures clicked and also you can wait for some time for the mist to move around because this mist is always a movie thing, it doesn't stay at one place. So once the mist is moved around, you can definitely witness some beautiful views of the Kurg Hills. Make sure to get your jeep driver's number before you go up so that you can easily find him once you come down. mandatory hydration before our next spot. So the next place is Abbey Falls and this is the parking space for it. Abbey Falls is one of the famous waterfalls in Kurg and the entry fee for it is just Rs 10. This is owned by the Karnataka government tourism. Years back an accident happened here so at Abbey Falls you will not be able to bath but there are a couple of other waterfalls in Kurg as well like Irpu waterfalls where you can go for bathing. Since it is summer, you cannot expect a high flow of water here, but during the monsoon, it will definitely be great. So that was the last spot which I visited in Kur and then I came back to Mysore to catch the Kaveri Express which brought me off back to my hometown Tiruvallur. I hope you guys enjoyed this travel series to Kur completely. So let me give you a short recap. My first video was about my journey from Chennai to Kur and the property tour of Ghost Stops. Second video places to visit in and around Madikeri and third video being a full day sightseeing at Kur and this is my fourth and the last video. So if you like this travel series, please do hit the like button and also do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Next up, I am coming with an amazing travel series to Vayanar so do not forget to watch it. So to keep an update 
update of it please do hit the subscribe button and also i'll be visiting why not and the travel videos will be coming on youtube late but to get instant updates do check out my instagram account which is tales of unicorn and also follow me there so i'll see you guys real soon in my next travel video or next lifestyle video but until then unleash the unicorn in you